based on what we've covered here, there's basically two different hypotheses out there. Number one is you believe in the calorie deficit, you need to eat less and move more, or you need to balance in versus out. Okay. Um, or, or you, yeah, in versus out. The second one is you believe that it's a hormonal disorder. And up until the 1960s, number two was the common belief. And in history textbooks from the 1960s and before all the information that contained the science of insulin, science of fat regulation, metabolism, it was basically removed starting in the 1960s and slowly replaced by the calories in, calories out model or the move more, eat less model. And the reason being was, one of the big reasons being was because around the 1960s, this was also the same time that the, uh, that fat and cholesterol were starting to be thrown under the bus. And also, it's also the same time that the, uh, the sugar, the grains, the corn, all that stuff was starting to be subsidized by the United States. Um, so we kept the farmers in uh, rather than exporting their crops. So we paid them more to keep it in here. But those are the crops that are basically causing the insulin surges and the obesity epidemic and overweightness and um, all the bad stuff that I've been talking about here. Okay. Okay. And that is, that's pretty much what I wanted to cover for part one. Part two, we're going to get more into how much you should actually eat. There'll be an equation that you can figure out what you need to eat um, based on your goals and everything. And I'll have a, a special group that I will create um, basically to a special call with certain people that are interested in doing it to basically help you figure out how many calories you need to eat and uh, macros and all that stuff. I just downloaded an app. I can't remember what it's called, but okay. it was saying I should have 1,800 calories a day, and I thought, oh, my gosh, there's no way. I would always have, like, 1,200, and it was hard for me ah. to get 100 calories in. Mm -hmm. And I could never understand. I was working out with a trainer. I'm running, and I could not lose anything. And the trainer kept saying, you need to eat, you need to eat. And I'm like, no, I can't eat. <sighs> so that's what I really need help with. Okay. And then now with this isogenics, I, I lost 20 pounds. Um, but I just feel like I, I'm not getting enough at this point with just okay. the two shakes, yep. you know, the little chalky snacks and, you know, the, and a meal. Sure. So I did just this week start adding in food um, to my, as my snacks. Okay. So I think today I got up to 1,400 calories and I was nervous about that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's one of the big things that um, after I do part two and uh, so we'll be scheduling people to come on a call and I'll be going through all that, what you need to do and, to get those up and all that stuff. And then are the macros, is that individualized? We, uh, on the call, I can individualize it a little bit more, but it's, yeah, it will. So it's not like women do this and men no. do that. Okay. No. If, if somebody has a general template like that, then I would go somewhere else. For sure. Okay. Um, and then um, for with men on isogenics, I have a guy that um, he's lost probably like 25 pounds. He would like to lose 20 more, mm -hmm. but he's been at a little bit of stall and he's doing his two shakes, his meal, his little snacks. But it, so he must not be getting enough calories. Uh, yeah. But I would so say it I'm just, thinking, I mean, everything depends because there, I mean, there's other issues that could be going on like stress and all the other right. things that are, that I mentioned in the survival mode slide and everything. Right. Um, so yeah, I, I'll be posting so, this as a, a replay on, on, uh, on Facebook and also YouTube and also my blog. So 
uh, okay. feel free to send them, send them that. And um, once yeah, I do, for sure. once I do set the call, um, send them the call. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward.